In this update, I head back to Coco to check on the progress at the Coco Curve and Tunnel. This is the location where Brightline's line to Orlando will break off from the existing Florida East Coast Railway mainline. Work has really advanced here this past month. A new crane has been brought in to install the pilings on the east side of Industry Road. Crews hadn't been able to install them here before, as the former exit ramp from westbound State Road 528 went right through their future location. A new exit ramp was built and opened in the last several weeks, so they were finally able to demolish the old ramp and start installing the pilings. On the west side of Industry Road, crews have slowly been working on the ramp from the bridge that will carry the tracks on to Orlando. So far, four pilings have been installed, while seven more are staged next to the crane. Here's a look at the old exit ramp. The ground under it will soon become part of the borrow pit and lake as the dirt is used to build up the ramps leading to the future bridge. The ramp has already started to raise some. You can see the new exit ramp on the right. And here's the side of the Coco Tunnel. And yes, tunnel is the correct term for this location, despite what you may think. All the documentation I've seen lists this as a tunnel, which is why I use that term. The tunnel is built in two separate segments. The first is on the right, and the second is on the left. This will be done through a process called box jacking. Based on a time-lapse video released by contractor Granite Construction of the tunnel already completed at Goldenrod Road in Orlando, the right segment will be pushed under the 528 first. Once it is moved a certain distance, the second segment will be pushed horizontally to the right to be in line with the first segment. The two segments will then be pushed together into a single piece. They will then be pushed the rest of the way under the 528 completing the tunnel. Currently, crews have been forming rebar and assembling forms for what will eventually become the walls of the tunnel segments. They have already built the two stationary walls that will be pushed against when moving the tunnel segments.
these pieces of blue metal and jacks are what will be used to actually push the segments. Here is an overview of the tunnel site and overall curve. The future route the tracks will follow can clearly be seen. South of the tunnel, ties are still being stored. The tracks leading to Orlando will break off the FEC Main Line on the south side of Michigan Avenue. Back to Industry Road, here's one final look at the progress on the bridge. Thanks for watching, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.